The circulatory system or cardiovascular system refers to the organs and blood vessels involved in the transport of blood throughout the body. It is of two types, open and closed. An open circulatory system is found in arthropods and mollusks. In these organisms, the blood pumped from the heart reaches the open spaces or body cavities called sinuses through large blood vessels and bathe all the organs. Whereas a closed circulatory system is found in annelids and chordata. In these organisms, the blood pumped from the heart passes through the closed blood vessels to reach the tissues. The heart, the vital organ of blood circulation, is made of cardiac muscles. It has many chambers which vary between animals. For example, fishes have a two-chambered heart comprising one atrium and one ventricle, while all amphibians and reptiles, with the exception of crocodiles, have a three-chambered heart comprising two atria and one ventricle. On the other hand, all crocodiles, birds and mammals have a four-chambered heart comprising two atria and two ventricles. The blood circulation in these animals also differs due to the difference in the number of chambers. For example, fishes exhibit single circulation. Deoxygenated blood is pumped from the heart to the gills for oxygenation and the Oxygenated blood directly flows into the tissues, whereas deoxygenated blood collected from the tissues is returned to the heart. In this way, blood passes through the heart only once during circulation, and hence this is called single circulation. Frogs and reptiles exhibit incomplete double circulation. Oxygenated blood from the lungs or gills or skin reaches the left atrium, while deoxygenated blood from body tissues reaches the right atrium. Blood from the left and right atrium is mixed in the single ventricle. Thus, the blood passes through the heart twice and gets mixed in the single ventricle during circulation and hence this is called incomplete double circulation. Birds and mammals exhibit double circulation. Oxygenated blood from the lungs reaches the left atrium, while deoxygenated blood from body tissues reaches the right atrium. The blood from both the atria is released into their respective ventricles thus preventing any mixing. In this way, blood passes through the heart twice during circulation, and hence this is called double circulation. During blood circulation, the heart pumps blood to all the tissues through a set of blood vessels called arteries, while the blood from the tissues reaches the heart through another set of blood vessels called veins. Arteries are large blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood from the heart and branch out to form small arterioles that end in capillaries to reach the tissues. These capillaries collect deoxygenated blood from tissues and converge to form venules, which finally converge to form the large blood vessels the veins. However, there are two exceptions in which the artery and vein perform different functions. The pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs, while the pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood 
from the lungs to the heart. Now let's look at the structure of the human heart in detail. The heart is about the size of a fist and lies in the thorax between the two lungs slightly tilted towards the left lung. It is protected by a double-walled membranous sac called the pericardium which encloses pericardial fluid. It has four chambers that include two upper small atria and two lower large ventricles. A thin muscular wall called the interatrial septum separates the two atria while a thick interventricular septum separates the two ventricles. Besides, a thick fibrous tissue called the atrioventricular septum separates the atria from their respective ventricles. However, there are openings between the chambers of the heart which are guarded by three types of valves that allow the flow of blood in one direction. The tricuspid valve is made of three muscular flaps or cusps and guards the opening to the right atrioventricular septum. The bicuspid or mitral valve is made of two muscular flaps or cusps and guards the opening to the left atrioventricular septum. The semilunar valves guard the opening between the right ventricle and pulmonary artery and between the left ventricle and aorta. When these valves close, they produce a lub-dub sound heard during a heartbeat. While the closure of the tricuspid and bicuspid valves produces the first sound lub, the closure of the semilunar valves produces the second sound dub. Also, specific regions in the heart consist of specialized cardiac muscles called nodal tissues. The first nodal tissue, the sinoatrial node or SAN, is present in the top right corner of the right atrium. On the other hand, the second nodal tissue, the atrioventricular node or AVN, is present in the bottom left corner of the right atrium near the atrioventricular septum. Another group of nodal tissues starts as an atrioventricular bundle or AV bundle from the AVN and passes through the atrioventricular septum and then through the interventricular septum. This finally branches into right and left bundles in the ventricles to form minute Purkinje fibers over the ventricles. All these fibers together form the bundle of his. Here the SAN can automatically generate around 70 to 75 action potentials or electrical impulses per minute. This action potential is transmitted to every other part of the heart through the AV node and bundle of his to bring about the rhythmic contraction of the heart. This is why the average heart beats 72 times per minute. Hence, the SAN is called the pacemaker of the heart. In some cases, an artificial pacemaker is used in individuals suffering from heart problems relating to the SAM, which generates action potentials or electrical impulses in place of the natural pacemaker, the SAM. Thus, the transmission of action potential to different parts of the heart is essential for blood circulation.